How's it going, ding dongs? Today we're continuing more stuff on the interior. I'm gonna try dyeing the seat belts so they're not this caca brown. So I got this Rit Dye More for synthetics, which is for nylon and polyester and all that stuff. So I think that's what the seat belts are made out of. So let's give it a try. I'm in my laundry room, filling up a bucket with hot water. It says to boil water in a pot, but I don't wanna put seat belts in a pot. So just doing this now. Then you add one teaspoon of laundry detergent and then I'm just gonna dump this whole thing in and then just stick those in and let them soak. I'm gonna let this sit for all day and yeah, better safe than sorry because since temperature's colder than it recommends and the temperature will fall, over the day, so yeah, just gonna leave it as long as possible. So it's not really working that well. It looks oh, just like it's wet. So I think it's because the water's not warm enough. So I got a little bit of a setup going. Got my camping grill here. Taking water out, boiling it, putting it in, taking more out, boiling it. Yeah. Fun stuff. So the bucket method was going really slow. So now I put it in a pot and I'm using the boiler to simmer the water. All right, ding dongs, it's the next day and got the belts out, I rinsed them out and they're still brown. So it's it's got that like faded old seat look, but it's better than dookie brown. But the thing that really blew my mind is the buckles are totally black. So that's cool. I like that. I think if I, so the buckle got boiled. Remember when I was boiling it? This did not get boiled. So I think if you boiled this, cause this seems to be the same plastic. I think if you boiled this, it would die as well. Cause this got almost died. So I think if you boiled it, you could dye all of these things. Kind of works. I think if I boiled it the whole time, it might have worked better. I don't know. Probably have to try a couple more times with different belts and stuff and different temperatures. I think I also diluted it, the dye too much because I put it in that big bucket. If you were to do it in just the pot, I think it would work a lot better. Maybe I'll try it one more time. Maybe I'll go buy some more dye, except it's out of stock everywhere. Maybe I'll go buy some more some other time or order online and try this one more time but I'm pretty sure you could dye like almost all the plastics like this because everything's made out of nylon, I think. And this stuff is capable of dyeing nylon, so yeah. I'll be back when this is all drying back in the car. I just gotta paint the other stuff now. So seatbelt soup attempt number one didn't work. Good soup. So I'm trying it again. Got the seatbelts out. Got a stainless pot. We're gonna do it properly this time and read the directions. First, fill pot with water. Oh yeah, in the first half of the video I forgot to use my new mic. It's gonna take some getting used to. Got the pot full of water up. I need dish detergent. And where does it say it? Focus, you bitch. Holy shit, focus. See, it says one teaspoon of liquid dish detergent, not fucking, who calls it dish detergent? It's dish soap, not. So yeah, I got confused when I saw detergent, I put laundry detergent in. So we need to boil the water first and then add the ingredients. Cool. Let's boil some shit. <sighs> All right, the water is almost boiling. So one teaspoon, squirt, squirt, 
I'm guessing that's a teaspoon. That's dish soap. Not fucking detergent. And then instead of one, I'm gonna use two this time. It says for polyester, use double. So I, I think seatbelts are polyester. I looked online, it said old seatbelts used to be nylon, but it stretches, so they stopped using nylon. And now they use polyester, so who knows. All right, water is now steaming. So let's dump these shits in. I'm gonna do the driver's side first, and I'm putting in all the plastics as well this time, because the buckle died, so maybe the, everything else will die as well, which would be great, actually. I would love it if all the plastics were black as well. So then I wouldn't have to paint them. It's been almost an hour, and it's looking pretty dark and you can see the plastics are black as well so here's the helper arm thingy where is it so I'm gonna now take this out and put it in the bucket I think this is a good process get yourself a Coleman grill this works great so you don't have to do this in the kitchen and ruin your counters and shit because considering it's dying Plastics, it probably will die your counters. We're back in my dungeon. Alright, so I rinsed this in the sink in the bucket until it was uh, the water was clear. This, the belt still has like a brown tinge to it and it's probably going to get a little lighter as it dries, but it, it is darker. The thing I'm really happy about though is the plastics, like all the nylon plastics, they totally, like even this rubber, this flexible part, I mean it's not rubber, it's still like a nylon, even that is totally black. The buckles are all black. So those turned out really well, but the belt is still, you can't see it on camera, but in real life it has this like brown tint to it. I wonder if it would be better to like bleach it first. I don't know if that's an option or if that would damage it. But yeah, I have the bucket here now. I'm just going to let it dry. It's actually a good thing. It's really windy today, so I should have a nice breeze going in here and drying it out. So. I'm gonna fix this as it keeps falling, and the other side is boiling now, so I'm gonna let that boil for also an hour. I did this one an hour, so I'll do the other one for an hour. And then once everything's dry, we'll see how it looks. So it's been about two weeks since I finished the seatbelts, and they've been great. They haven't bl um, bled onto my clothes or anything, because I use this, uh, it's like RIT, stay or color stay I think it's what they call it I put that on the seat belts so they don't bleed this is totally black it's not quite there but it is darker than it used to be this though that is almost completely black which I'm pretty happy about like these used to be pretty ugly brown but it's close enough I mean the whole car looks like it's faded anyway so but yeah I think it looks good I have to make a little, I cut these things off so that, uh, yeah, I don't know why I did that. That was pointless. So I gotta make these little plug thingies. Um, Cause this keeps falling all the way to the floor. So yeah. Rit makes a color remover. I think I'm gonna try this one more time with the color remover where you uh, soak the belts in the color remover to hopefully lighten them more because it's hard to dye dark colors, which the belts already were pretty dark brown. So if I remove some of the color, hopefully it will dye better. I might need to get new belts because these have been, you know, already dyed black and then they were already brown. So I don't know how well all that stuff is gonna work when you just keep adding it on and stuff. So maybe I'll get new belts someday. So yeah, now you know, you can dye your belts and random other plastics as well. 97 stuff is coming, fog lights and grill. 
And after that, I'm hoping to get started on this. I don't know if you guys recognize that bumper, but that is going to go on that. I just hit 2,000 subscribers, which is crazy. The, the channel's been growing twice as fast as it was like six months ago. Lots of cool stuff coming, so make sure you like the video, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace out. Do you have your passport? Did you get your job?